right. Hello. Um, it is currently about half past nine. Uh, there's currently two viewers in chat. How are, you, how are both of you doing? So today, it's a bit of a different stream this time because like, I never thought I'd ever bother streaming this game because I already made a video on the first Sniper Ghost Warrior contracts. But then a friend of mine, who, whose name you can see on the screen right now, Onion, um, gave me some ways to um, sort of mod in DLC content without actually having to pay for it. And that includes cut content. And um, I ob obviously I, I'm, I'm not pirating anything because the, I only installed one of the DLCs and that DLC is a compound bow that was in SGW3 and is in Contracts 2, but it's not in this game. And what I imagine happened is that in Contracts 2, well, okay, so basically um, a few, like even after like two years after Contracts came out, they went ahead and added a bunch of new weapon DLCs and there were pretty much just a bunch of stuff from Contracts 2 ported into C1. All they didn't, you know, port any of the other quality of life features, but whatever. Um, and I assume that one of those things was going to be the bow, but I guess CI probably felt like it'd be a bit weird to uh, sell an item that you could use by default in the sequel. So they cut that, I think. Um, but again, this mod allows me to use it. And I, tr I tested it earlier. Um... And, I mean, it works. And then I just now, uh, Onion told me how to actually get um, the uh, cracked Steam API to actually, uh, like, use my normal save file so I can actually play it with all my skills and stuff. I just have a bow. So, um, I, 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 guess we'll get, I guess we'll get started. I will preface this by saying that even though I know this game extremely well... I'm probably still going to fuck up a few times because I suck at games, so bear with me. <laughs> um, it also, just because the bow is, like, a little bit... Um, uh, it is a little bit inconsistent at times. Like, I haven't been able to get as many one-shot kills as easily compared to Contracts 2, but it's still way better than um, Super Ghost Warrior 3. So... As you can see here, you can see I already have the thing equipped, and this isn't supposed to be in the game. But, again, I have the um, the uh, the actual like, game files. I managed to actually load it into the game, and it works perfectly fine. And you can actually see here, like, Seeker's holding the bow. And they actually gave him, like, you know, a proper animation to actually use it. And then you have all, I have all the mods and stuff. So, like, a red dot site and just some... Random cosmetic things, and it even works with all the um, uh, camos that are in Contracts One, which is rather interesting. Um, wait, am I okay? I'm good. I'm not. I, yeah, I just have to check OBS real quick. Um, so I guess just for this stream, I'm just going to uh, just just try to blast through a contract. Really, though, and what better one what place to start than uh, Ultime Mountains? Again, probably gonna make a few mistakes. Greetings, but, Seeker. Yeah. It, it, it is just On this the mission, nature your of primary me target and is the bow. Ifanovsky. Again, it's not as good. Like I kind of also feel like Russian that the um, armed forces general. Oh, he earned the nickname Bio Ifanovsky oh, during the, the Second Mongolian better. War. Uh, due uh, to his can you still hear me over this cutscene? Just let me know. Biological weapons. Do I sound he is fine? first cousin to the Siberian Prime Minister Nergui Kurchatov. During the Siberian I'm gonna War hope of Independence, fine. Ifanovsky defected from the Russians to join his cousin. All right. I can, but it's harder. Okay, I'll just turn down the game real quick then. Sorry about that. Okay, hopefully that's good. I. That was an animation glitch. All right. Then I can Either. do a bunch of stuff that I wanted to do. It won't matter to the people they use the weapon on. Uh, That's not your concern. Stay focused. Track that guard. Okay, so. Oh nope. Yeah, there. That's the that's the problem. That's the problem there. 
Okay, whatever. So salvage that. There we go. So I noticed that when I try to shoot people from above, it doesn't seem to work as well. So I just gotta make sure I don't do that pretty much. It works fine otherwise. So I'm just gonna try to use the bow as much as possible. Obviously, if there's any snipers, I'm gonna use um, my sniper against them if I can't reach them with my bow. So. Uh, the music's doing that one thing where it's like overlapping a little bit. I could have mentioned that in the video though, but I didn't think it was a big enough problem to actually do so. I, I thought I would be able to sprint right. See what I mean? God damn it! <laughs> for fuck's sake! I, just, yeah, just got cocky. For God's sake! There we go. That's how it's supposed to be. Jesus. Yep, that's just the skill issue. There, got cocky. Right? And also, I have um, gas, gr gas and explosive grenades. And um, for those of you who don't know, uh, gas arrows are insanely overpowered. Like, you see this heavy right here. Um, yeah, I'm just going to just put them in a safer spot. Hopefully that guy didn't see. Last time I did this, he didn't see anything. Yep, that heavy is now dead. Just gonna quickly get this guy, just in case. Motherfucker! Wait, okay, yeah, he's dead. Let's make sure. Just Danny 100%. Yes, I did. I haven't actually done it for C2, though. I just was too lazy to do it this time. Okay, so this one. Actually, I gotta wait till to see if those extra guards um, leave the courtyard. Oh, shit. Yeah. Wait, what did that guy see? Okay, I have no idea what that guy's seeing at all. Okay, we're still good. I have no idea what that guy saw, though. Uh, just throw it onto the extra layer of quirks. I don't know what happened there, but... Um... I swear to God, every, every, like, every copy of this game is personalized. I don't even know what happened there, but whatever. It's not a big deal. Okay. I know how to play this game. I'm a gamer. I'm not one of those scrubs who sucks at playing, sucks at this game. So I'm pretty sure that all these guys are... We won't be able to reach them this way. We can use the river to reach that spot. It's shallow. Get the triple. You think it's us? The chooks are dead. We've got a casualty! Oh, shit, shit. No, no, that guy's a shotgun. Say goodbye to my mother! Also, I'm immune to my own gas. Which is good. See what I fucking mean? I'm, I I knew I was going to make some fucking mistakes. I totally didn't realize there was a shotgunner in there. I know how to play this game, damn it. <laughs> These are the risks I take for to try to get good gameplay. <laughs> Anyways. Not that guy. Yep, so I'm not- I'm just gonna ignore those guys. I 
totally forgot that there was a shotgunner in there. I thought that was just like a grunt or something. Uh, yeah, no, there's a guy coming up there, so we gotta be careful. Alright, so we should be able to climb up here. No problems. This challenge now you don't have an assault rifle. Yeah. I am going to try to play. I probably should have uh, packed a. Camera three down again. Fuck. There we go. Now it's always good to hack this, this terminal. So the base. So the base with Ivanovsky is not going to be too difficult. Yeah. Eyes on the it, target. I, I find like the interesting about shot. about games like this is like like when I first play these games, obviously you make mistakes and stuff. You're not familiar that with the game, secure. and then you start to play the game pretty well because you're like, okay, I'm getting more familiar, and then you get oh another um suspicious guy. Oh shit! Wait, got the dead fucking soldier here. What's that guy seeing? Okay, I don't know what's actually happening right now. Um, this didn't actually this didn't happen in the last. Um, shit. oh shit, we're out. Um, I'm running into weird bugs that I didn't before. I I can say for sure that I have no idea what that bodies that guy is seeing. I don't know what's happening. I will say that anything that happens in this playthrough has no bearing on my actual review. I don't know what's happening. Well done. Proceed to the next one. Like, you get, you saw that, right? Like, that guy just got alerted for no reason. That's the second one. I, is there something wrong with, with like, me putting this mod in? Is it breaking something? Yeah, it's weird. This doesn't ha This never happened to me normally. Like these are the type of bugs that people would talk about, and like I was like, "Oh, you're crazy." That doesn't happen. Yeah, this should, shouldn't. That shouldn't be happening at all. That, that's how you do the. That's how you do the double kill. That's easy. Yeah, there's a path through here. And this is this is gonna cause some alerts, but um, actually, you know what? Because this is gonna—it's just some config files. Yeah, I don't know. So this is gonna go loud. But if I use a gas grenade, it's gonna go loud anyway. So oh, we only. Yeah. I haven't actually used these yet, so I'm gonna try them. They're not bad. They work. I gotta analyze this body here. Damn. I found the agent. He's dead. Retrieve any lap samples he was carrying. Yeah, I don't I don't know what's going on. <sighs> I, 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 I don't know. Um weird things happen all the time in this game. Safe exit point on your map. Should you choose to Full disclosure, I still absolutely love this game and I do recommend it to um, whoever might be watching this. Your game might not behave like mine. I really hope it does not, because that is... This is so fucking weird, I just don't get it. Fire! 
Oh shit. Yeah, you see what I mean though? Like, it's, it's just a little bit inconsistent, unfortunately. From a listening device planted by our spy. Can you guarantee that this will leave no evidence? It must look like an accident. I assure you, Jack. This agent is colorless, orderless, tasteless. But there will be convulsions. That's sad. And not dead subjects demonstrate. has a reputation for being Perhaps they will have time to find an Fire! Impossible. None of the usual toxic treatment protocols will help them. Well, it works well. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happened there. Um, I, I got. I, that's what I'm talking about. Like, if it was playing C2, that probably that more. Th I, I'm. I am very sure that would have been a kill in C2. Because in C2, like it's very. Uh, you get like you can shoot the lower back and they'll just die. Um, so I don't really know why uh, C1 isn't letting me do that. people want Ivanovsky dead. Which one are we working for? The one who's paying. Does it matter who or what they are? Individual, okay. corporation, or government? Please let this work. There we go. I, I think I always have to aim a little bit higher than I think. Otherwise, it's just not going to work. Also, interesting fact though, do you see how these enemies are wearing gas masks, even though they don't normally, like, Front Storm, we don't wear them, and nor, nor do Riflemen. Th that actually does protect them against gas grenades, as I learned the hard way when I tried to test this. Please let this work. Yep. Okay, the impacts are so, like, boneless in this, though. Um, with, like, with uh, the, uh, with the, um, so we go score your three sounds. I don't really DLC they dropped it. They maybe dropped it for ironing all the kinks out. Um, I mean, well, it's just a DLC though, right? It's not like it's going to undo, like, patches and stuff, right? Also, another annoying quirk that I noticed about this is that if you draw the arrow, then try to aim, it, um, it will undraw your arrow so you have to do it again. Like, normally pressing left shift would do that though, but also aiming your thing will also uh, do that as well, which um, isn't ideal, because you want it like you ready a shot, then you try to aim, and then it pulls it right back. So, you can't lean with it either, I noticed. Ooh, okay, there's two guys in there. Gotta wait a little bit. I, I'm assuming they're immune to gas, so I'm not even gonna try. Ooh. That didn't kill them. And that was like to the upper body too.
know, the people, they call me Bio Ivanov. As if I am the one inventing these new weapons. I gotta go around, he's behind the screen. Feel safely now. Check your map. Well, that guy is getting in trying to investigate something. Uh, whatever this guy did. Oh wait, I gotta, I, grab, I gotta grab a sample, nearly forgot. Yep, right here. I have the samples. Careful, seeker. The well, it's only, it's only been like you about 20 minutes though, and I'm, or, I'm already near the end. Oh god, the uh, dialogue's overlapping. Yeah, I'll, I'll chalk that up to the reason why I'm being so sloppy, it's because I'm, I'm just sort of, I'm like sort of half speed running these le these levels a bit which is why if a very clumsy that's why <clears throat> all right i'm new here where's the helipad what do you think it is just go up let me just interrogate this guy the other soldiers locations now I'll tell you, I'll tell you. There. <laughs> Shit. Fuck. Nope. Okay, I'm just gonna... Because I gotta go back and grab the damn thing even if I live. And I'm... No, I'm gonna die anyway, so... I... I don't know, I could have sworn my sight was, sight was on. I'm new here. Where's the helipad? What did you think it is? Just go up. You're gonna tell me where the other soldiers are located. I'm saying nothing, fucker. Oh. Yeah, I missed it my hair last time, don't know why, but... They're saying um, how worried they were about uh, the chemicals. Well, you got it. <coughs> Come on, prompt pirate. Shotgunners. Motherfucker! Sometimes it's a little tricky to tell if they're actually dead because they don't die right away. Okay, no shotgunners. I'm pretty sure like, I tested last time though that my I'm, I'm actually immune to the gas, but um, just be careful anyways though. I don't have the skill that makes me immune to gas though, because it's so useless. But um, download complete. Excellent. Exfil when you're ready. I've updated your map. Yep. 
Yeah. Also, again, just to drive this home. So, for some reason in uh, C3 and C1, arrows actually do get embedded in enemies, which, I mean, that's what you would expect. In C2, they just bounce off for some reason, and, like, it kind of makes them feel, despite the uh, improved animation and sounds, it makes them feel a little bit worse. Nice. Okay, that was mostly clean. Uh, a few mistakes because I'm just a tryhard. That is, is true element, poggers. Kind of, puppy. Hi. Um, you, 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 you kind of missed me, like, being really overconfident and making really stupid mistakes. But, um, welcome to the stream. So, yeah, um, if you could tell, can't tell by the title, um, just, just to uh, clarify. So, this bow I'm using is not uh, supposed to be in the game. Uh, Onion here gave me a file that allows me to actually load it into uh, the game, which is just insane. Because the, the bow in C2 is wonderful, and, well, I mean, the bow in this game is a bit less wonderful, but it's still it's still perfectly usable, though, so I'm, I'm just going to be running just a few contracts um, with this thing. Pretty much as fast as I can, honestly. <laughs> No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do any kind of addendums to the review. Uh, this is just. Um, Shoot the target. Uh, yep. See, there you go. Got cocky, but I'm just gonna fucking run. Oh shit. Help! Uh, see what I mean? I get overconfident. <laughs> And before get good. I know how to play this game, I swear. I, I I virtually mastered it. I'm just dicking around now. I don't know if I could actually shoot through fences. So I'm gonna try to Kill them! Uh why did I do that? For fuck's sake! Easily the worst contract streamer on Twitch, except probably not. I've seen Jerma do worse. Jer Jerma was awful at this game, so I'm going to use that as, an, as a defense. I get complacent as well, and then the game puts me in my place. Yes, exactly. Thank you, Onion. I'm not alone. Yeah, because, like, fucking Jeremiah, he sucked balls at the game, and then his chat defended him by saying, oh, the game's broken. Like, I mean, the game did slightly break in me in some parts for some reason this run. Weird bugs occurred. Uh, but, like, whatever. I just shrug him off. I like to cut G. Jeremy sucks at almost every game, and that's why we love him. And sometimes that uh, uh, backfires on the game itself, though, when people blame the game for wrong, the wrong reasons. I also like your cut G. I love this takedown enemy. You just fucking stomp on them. Like, that's, like, brilliant. I, I like... <laughs> Seems like I didn't get the full intel briefing. There's more here than what I was told. We also Kenshi streams. I don't know what that game is, but oh boy. Yeah, so that took me, um, well, actually, well, it didn't actually take me 17 minutes, though. That was, uh, yeah, I think it was just a few things, though. But, like, that only took me, like, half an hour. Like, I just kind of breezed through that. Um, I don't think, there's, obviously, I don't think there's anything to change. Sort of sandbox RPG, not great for streaming, though. So the chat was absolutely ripping into it constantly. God, I hate that, though. Like, I bet the game isn't even bad. Yeah, the take animation is funny. Um, yeah, sort of sandbox RPG, not great. Yeah. Uh, ripping it to it, hell, were they just saying the game was bad and, like, defending Jeremiah at, like, every point? Like, because then, Jesus Christ. 
Also, for a bit of flavor, and also just to piss off anyone who joins, though, I'm gonna, like, swap, change the camos every now and then, so we're gonna go for, um, the rainbow bow. Because I like to give people aneurysms with my taste in camos. Physics-based hitbox, okay. Alright, we're doing, um, my second... My, uh, second least favorite level. Still fine. Um, it's a... Greetings, I may have seeker. to whip out the sniper a bit more in this one, just so I can get by a bit better. Your contract is because... Igor Sekov. I mean, it really constantly while this game sucks or is boring. Oh my god. Of Sekoil, Siberia's largest like, oil exploration fucking bruh. Like, company. if my chat fucking did that, I would just, like, Igor I would start, like, um... The company. I would just... Just, I, I would just shut down the chat at that point because, like, like the 90s. don't be like that. That's like so fucking shitty. Unless the game is like actually like bad, but like, if you say it to a game that's still like competent, then like, God, I don't know what to say, man. So, I had to turn it down. Here, he's ignored them pretty much. Yeah. The lighthouse. I mean, I, I guess that's what happens though when you have like a massive chat. Um, I also saw it with like, I tuned into like, you, I don't know if you know him, but like a certain Shroud. I never heard of him actually but until um, he got promoted. Character design is wild. Oh yeah, Seeker has the drip. Um, fucking uh, Shroud. So he, he he streamed contracts to you because there was like a big promotion and stuff. Um, see, I thought it'd be a great idea to, um. Uh, you know, like, do, like, promotional streams, like, stream a bunch of famous streamers have played this game. And you know what happened? A lot of them sucked at it and it gave people a worse impression of the game. So, like, I don't even know what to say to that. Lots of activity. Black gold has always hey. a I'm gonna story. snipe these snipers, because if I don't, they're going to fucking get me. Um, yeah. I'm also gonna just try to get as much people as I can. Yeah. The gameplay was fucking rough, too. Well, okay, okay, I can't be too elitist here, because they weren't really, they, I mean, I guess because I guess they, were, they were contractually obligated to, they didn't say anything negative, but like, um, and, and I can't, I guess I can't be too harsh on the streamers themselves, because it was the first time playing the game, and like, of course, they weren't be, they weren't too familiar with the levels and stuff, so I guess I can't actually be too hard, harsh on them on that front, but the, but the viewers, though, oh my god, like, they were just fucking vicious, and they just weren't giving this game, a ch giving uh, contracts to a chance at all. Also remember, remember, like, I think Shard maybe gave me a link to, like, a guy who was streaming this game, and also the chat was just so, like, fucking vile as well towards it. Just seeing a whole whole bunch of, like, judging a book by its cover and stuff like that. Yeah, it's annoying. Yeah, that, I, I don't think that office is going to notice anything, so... It's super cool, honestly. It is. It's it's a bit janky, but um, ultimately, like the systems are like incredibly good and stuff like that, and it's just a lot of fun to play. Like I have logged like over a hundred fucking hours in this game. Okay, so I think again, just because like I'm slightly challenging myself, I'm gonna try to use the bow a bit more, bow and knives, I guess. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That was close. That better be an accidental discharge. Gamer. Also, not to mention, like... I have Clear. That was... Odd. Oh. I mean, that was nothing, though. That was nothing. That was actually nothing. That was just a weird little quirk. That, okay, I'm running into... I feel like I'm actually running into more bugs, and I don't know if that's be... Yeah. Um, accidental discharge of bow. Like, I don't know if the... Hmm. Yeah, I don't even have to be here, actually. Yeah, let's just avoid some enemies here, because... Never actually taken this path before. Honestly, I think the game almost is just doing some weird things, because... Um, I can probably ignore that guy, too. Um, I think the game's just doing... I, I almost feel like the game's just doing weird things right now, just because I have 
the bow. I almost just feel like that that's the case. Yeah, quick, quick drink real quick. No, I ran, into, I ran into issues without the bow. Uh, including enemies just getting alerted for no reason and seeing bodies that, that don't exist. Because when you first played it... Hmm. When was this? Because... Ooh, that was close. That was close. Don't really want to risk doing too many long... Like, too long shots with this. Like, medium range only, because... Let me cause some oddities. That was fine. If you kill an enemy, like, even if they open fire for a little bit, uh, you're fine. As long as they, like, they don't fire for too long, enemies won't be... Gamer. Got him. He's left dead. Fine work. It's a bit strange, yeah. I I don't know, because like when I played this on my replay for the review, I I had a pretty like honest generally speaking though, like I, I don't really remember having really many bugs at all. And any well, any bugs I did run into were patched um in April of this year, somehow. Also, and as I was, I was about to say, but I nearly forgot. Another stupid thing that I saw. Yeah, that was weird. That recovered without me a couple of times. Yeah, that tends to happen, though. If you alert an enemy and they, like, open fire, the game will still play that even though the alarm hasn't actually gone off. And you'll just have to ignore that. Oh, I guess they saw... Yeah, they saw something, so... Yeah, I assume that was actually they saw a body, but... Um, I think we're fine, though. You need one, two to HQ. We have his location. Clear. Oh, shit. This is bad. Are you sure this is a minefield? Base. Gotta be careful. We have eyes on Ready to engage. Over. That was goes the opposite way, but I can still follow this. This is why I killed the snipers. Okay, there, there are no mines here. And also, Pubby, while you're here... Okay, hopefully... I'm pretty sure these guys are close enough for this to actually work. Gas arrows, if this actually... Yep, okay, we're good. Gas arrows are so, so OP. Like... <laughs> they're insane. They just... They'll just kill any enemy that's not wearing a gas mask. Um, just pretty much instantly. And no alarms will be set. So that's very, very good. All right, so I know there's a jammer here, so I'm gonna have to disable it. Need detail with gas masks. Yeah, shotgunners um, have gas masks, so they're immune to gas. All the heavies aren't, so you can just like, if you run into a heavy and you have gas, like that's actually kind of what like sort of makes um. Uh, like, C2 quite a bit easier. Um, because, well, first of all, not only is, like, getting the heavy takedown, like, harder, right? 
um, you can just get the bow pretty early on after like the first contract, and you load it with with gas arrows, um, which you just get free of charge, by the way. And you could just shoot a heavy, and they'll just die. Like I don't know about you though, but I feel like that that the that heavies should have gas masks, not shotgunners. There's some enemies with gas. Oh y yeah, but um, if if you have like just a few clusters of enemies, and there's there's no. Uh, um, you guys, the gas mask there. You can you can use it on any like pair of enemies that isn't that doesn't have a gas mask. Okay, so whoa. Okay, hopefully I should be able to shoot this without anyone hearing. Cause I need I want to quickly do this. Absolutely sure, because I always try to do this. You're gonna tell me where the other soldiers are located. Sure, I'll tell you. They're over there. There you go. Let's move body. But yeah, I actually like just just tell a story though. You probably if you don't remember from the review. Um, when I was recording review footage for the first time, I ran into a very, like, distressing bug that if I killed an enemy with a takedown, and even if I moved their body, people, enemies would treat the spot where they died as a corpse and be alerted to it. And I was anxious as fuck because that is such a massive blunder that kind of makes the game, like, bad. Like, that's pretty bad if something that's supposed to be stealthy will actually just fuck you. But then, um, the game got patched in April and said it fixed some things, and that was among some of the bugs that were fixed, and the sigh of relief that I got when I learned that that, like, when that doesn't break anymore. Also, this lens feels broken, because this isn't clear and actually makes it really hard to see, but I prefer this over the stock iron sights. Yeah, but like, yeah, I love this game, but... He's on the other side. What? Fuck's sake. Like, again, that's a weird incons... This boat is not as consistent as the one in C2. I do not know why that happened. Hmm. Should I just reload the save? That, 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 that should have worked. Like, there's no way I could have fucking missed that. <laughs> ah, fuck it. It's a casual playthrough. I'm just gonna do this. Like, whatever, man. Like, that was bullshit. I don't know how that didn't work. Oh, it saved me in a good spot, at least. Um, I still have all my enemy tags. That worked. So I just don't know what's happening at all. around here. Yeah, due, due to this thing's inconsistencies, I'm kind of afraid to use it past, like, 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 like t um, too long of a distance. Grunts go down really easy, at least, but I just want to be really careful. I don't want to, like, um, and yeah, I, I it's it, I can't like lean o over cover with this. I don't know if that's the case in C two. I'm pretty sure it you can do that in C two. So what, 
again. And also mentioned though, it, it follow-up shots are much harder in this game because the AI is so hair trigger. Yeah, I I straight up don't don't even know what happened there. So the bow isn't. It's a bit better than it was in Cyber Ghost Warrior 3, but not as good as the one in C2, which is very, very unfortunate. I'm hit! Damn it! My, my guess it probably shot his arm or something like that. Anyways, actually, I have a better idea. That means I can just use these instead. Just try it out, I guess. <laughs> Holy shit, I got him. Oh, that was weird. That didn't... So, so far I feel like that a bunch of the alerts here were caused because, not because of, like, a mistake on my part, it's because the bow just didn't kill. And it sent me back quite a bit though, but I don't mind because that's, uh, I'm, to I'm totally fine with that. Got him. Almost would have saw that. That was strange. No, no, that's, you know, that's just way too risky. I can't go through there. Put it the crossbow, right? I hope it doesn't behave like this. They did port the crossbow. Um, I would hope not. But I, I, I have no interest in actually buying it though, because I already bought it in C1, and the crossbow isn't very good. Because the the crossbow doesn't do anything that um. Okay, screw it. I'm just gonna snipe that guy because that guy's gonna cross the cross the river. Okay, that was just a fucking mistake. Jesus. Do I want to upload this VOD? Because this gameplay is woeful on my part. But, okay, whatever. I'm better than Jerema. I, I, can, I can live with that. Although, it's hard to not blame the game, though, when, you're, when some of your arrows just do weird shit. What the 
guy seeing? That guy's like almost spawning me. the crossbow and I have all the DLCs. I'm not I don't really feel too good about pirating stuff that's on sale because this is just cut content. No. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'll crack and install the other ones though, but it does feel a little bit dirty. But at the same time though, see I like I have a have a really bad habit of just putting a bunch of DLCs into their games though when they should be putting that money towards other things like polishing up some of the things that aren't so good. I I do not know what's happening there. Holy sh like okay, you you saw that right? Like that time it just didn't kill. Either I missed it by a hair or um yeah this is uh this is not good. Not good for me, for sure. Yeah, I'm just using DLC Rambo bow. That was, uh, that's definitely weird. Oh, that's why that guy, like... I, I was not paying it. I wasn't paying attention. I was paying attention to the guy across the fucking thing. That's the guy that was spawning me. It's because he had his freaking binoculars out, which is, um, yeah, that's something. Uh, I am, again, this is just, this is the, like, again, like, I'm on the other, uh, the other end of the bell, bell curve. Or, like, at the first you're a noob, and you don't, because you don't know the map, so you play poorly. And then... Um, in the middle of the bell curve, you know the game better, so you're playing quite well, and then you become a veteran, and then you get really complacent because you think you can, you think you know the game better than you do. Somehow this is like the opposite of the Dunning-Kruger effect, that the more skill you get, the more incompetent you are. At least, I can't speak for everyone, but that's definitely me. <laughs> Okay. Okay, I. D that's just the g game doing weird. Sh okay, I swear to God that doing this is like doing some weird shit to the game. Like, there's no way that this should be happening. Uh, actually, give me a moment. I'm gonna go, like turn on the AC. It's getting a bit hot in here. Maybe restart the game. Um, uh, I, I don't know. Yeah, there's a there's a reason why um, in my bio that I put on all my social media, I put awkward streamer because you get shit like this. You come to this stream and you get mediocre gameplay from games that I'm... What happened? Um... Okay, honestly, yeah, I think I'm just going to go to the main menu because... A lot of weird things are happening, and when I think about what's up next, they're not... 
it's not designed for a bow. This level is very sniper focused. So I'm just going to play a different level at this point. <laughs> This is XML Flaws of the game. This is a modified XML Flaws, and these other bugs shouldn't happen because Greetings, of it. Seeker. I know, but I, I, I know there shouldn't, there's no correlation, but. Your contract is one I, Sasha Petroshenko. I don't know what's happening. He is the boss of Siberia's largest criminal syndicate, the Yakutsk <laughs> clan. They trade in drugs and weapons. Um, because again, like now, they're human traffickers. Too. I've never gotten this like like I have, the game hasn't been like like was not this uh, odd behaving when I was reviewing it. But what would restarting the game do exactly? Huh, a peaceful spot. There's too much of them. It would be best to avoid contact. I know this sounds like a, a massive cope, but like, I swear to God, this game is still good. Like, it is still good. The other soldiers' locations. Now. I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Then. Yep. The thing about this map, though, in the northern area, it's like quite difficult, and it can be still. Uh, but if you know the snipers here, you can just tag everyone and have no problems. Aside from the people in the truck, uh, these guys aren't counted for some reason. I'm just going to use the sniper just to uh, get through here and just get rid of them. Normally the best thing to do in this area though is just to try to sneak past though. I'm pretty sure I said that in my review. Notice that. Memory bug, maybe a memory bug. Maybe restarting will fix it. Um. Well, we'll see. If we run into another bug, then maybe I'll just go ahead and try that. A memory bug, though. That's very odd. The thing is, though, the game wasn't on for that long, though, when I first when I started streaming. It's, I'm only been playing this for an hour. Yeah, so I don't know the best thing to do in this map, though, is just to kind of just go full pacifist, honestly, because it's, it's kind of dense, and I don't really feel like dealing with these enemies, so... Oh, whoa, almost walked right into that one, I almost didn't see it. Yeah, this is... A... You might have actually fixed it by loading a new map, okay. Well, how would a memory bug, a bug actually, like, cause this shit to happen? Cause I don't, I, I don't know CryEngine. Um, I don't, I don't know, I don't know like the technical details of games in general, but like, how would um a memory bug cause that? That's not a bug. That was just me being careless again, but rushed it. Seeker, we have hacked Petroshenko's laptop microphone. He is currently using a telecoms app. No, no idea. Just spitballing. Okay. They were stopped in Barmal on your side, the Russian side. They took my girls. They put my men in prison. Barno. Where should it where would I go? Ah fuck. Um I guess I'm gonna yes. just, yeah, they have do what I normally do. He is not so cooperative. He wonders what it is that you, Sasha, bring to the table. Tell him that without my information and help, the Moscow Mafia would be running your fucking country. Maybe. But the Moscow Mafia are almost finished now. Which means you are becoming less and less useful to us. That sounds like a threat. It is a warning. 
To my bosses, you are just a small crime lord in a remote region of a foreign country. Well, fuck you, Mikhail. We have been informed that a jamming device has been deployed in this forest. It will disable any nearby drones. The same may be true for tagging attempts. Actually, though, if I want to free the prisoner, I'd rather go on the other side, though. I know there's a sniper that would overlook here, and um, he's kind. he can be kind of a bitch. Normally, he's a very good interrogation target. Oh, yeah, the bounties. Again, like I mentioned about this level in the review, for some reason, the bounties just keep spawning on this map for some reason. Like, both of them. That normally doesn't happen. Because bounties are these one-off targets that you get just for some money. And that's basically it. They don't really do anything else. They're not that interesting. But um, they only ever spawn once after you kill them. For some reason, in, in Betacop Valley, this level, they keep spawning on repeat playthroughs after you've killed both of them the first time. And... It's partially, it's our, it's actually a really good bug because it just makes the level kind of feel more alive and it's the one I've played the most, um, because of it. Um, it was annoying. Yeah, I'm just gonna ignore this bounty though because this one just isn't too interesting and I, and it's really cramped, there's not much I can do with the bow here. I'm not too interested in doing it. Yeah, sniper's annoying. Yeah, like he's that one's that one's a bit tough to tough to find, uh, tough to see first of all, and he can spot you pretty damn quickly. Do you see that sick gamer move right there? That weave. You fuck it. Yeah, okay, that makes up for all the mistakes that I just made. You see that shit? I leave him down in the area, I don't care. Okay, so from here, he shouldn't be able to hear my gunshot. So I can shoot the... Um... How far away is that? I don't know, I'm gonna guess, like, maybe... Brother... Yeah, that was awesome, wasn't it? No, that's... Th I am the sniper ghost warrior. Seeker, it's you! You're the Sniper Ghost Warrior! He didn't say that. I, I, well, I, I will. I make that joke, though, but they straight up just said Ghost Warrior and Sniper Ghost Warrior 3, though, so, like, I, I don't even know what to say at that point. <laughs> like, it, it is real. They fucking just worked it into the script, and it is as tacky as you can possibly imagine. Where are the others? Locations, now! Uh, they, they're right there. Yep, and that sniper has to go. <sighs> this might sound ridiculous, but are the spotlights hostile? Are they moving? Okay, they are moving. Yeah, these things are weird, by the way. Again, um, I I know I'm regurgitating stuff from a review, though, but that's just how I can be just talking random things about games that I've already played. Um, it's just, you know, good for uh, stream conversations. But this these spotlights, so if they, if they don't move, they're just normal lights. If they move like this, they basically behave as cameras. However... Uh, the game just never tells you about this. I I remember the first time I played this level, I was blindsided by these. Like, they don't tell you about this at all. And Contracts 2, first of all, they remove that ambiguity because I don't think that, like, if a spotlight... Like, spotlights will just spot you. They don't have, like, oh, it might not spot you if it, if it spawns as, like, a normal light. Um, but you can actually tag them now. So, like, thank God. Like, I don't know why they, these aren't taggable. Like, this is such, like, a freaking like... Like... Like, there's many things about this game that confuse a lot of people. This is the one of the things that I agree with. Like, th these should have been taggable. But alas, they are not. 
Den hier. Ja, okay, no. Dann the wiser. Hedge up giving giggle fizz. Oh yeah, it's so good. I mean they are in this game, the 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 um the jibbing is the same. Um it's just that you have more time to appreciate it because it slows it down and you have a much better view in C2. The models are exactly the same as far as I'm concerned. I don't like having to wait for mask mode so much when going through a minefield because that just sort of makes this whole ordeal take longer. I got pain sick because the whole guy's fought in the very spotlight. Yes. Well, if you cleared the area, though, you should be fine. Like, no other enemies are going to come after you. And if you took care of, like, most of them anyways, so you can just easily kill them. But, yeah, that is very frustrating. CI never change. Although, maybe please change at least a little bit, you know, so I can recommend your games without feeling like a complete idiot. Yeah, so it seems like that I just had to aim a little bit higher than I think, because... One, one of my, uh, yeah, it startled me, yeah. Same. Because my hypothesis, though, with the reason why this bow doesn't feel as good, though, for multiple reasons, though, it's not just the sounds, though, but it's also, like... <gasps> Yeah, that's just yeah. Okay, that was literally just me being unattentive. I I thought I was out of the fucking minefield. Speaking of getting startled, huh? <laughs> oh great, I have to do that again. I got a perfect stream title, though, for when I upload the VOD of this. It's just gonna be like, I don't know, like, you know, Bow Ghost Warrior featuring Complacent Contracts or something. Wait, they aren't getting highlighted this time. Is that another bug? Forgot... I swear, sometimes, sometimes, when I played this game, I swear to god, I just fucking, like, unearth new bugs. The game is still good, the core is still good, I just... I just don't understand what's going on. Yeah, that's... Well, speaking of bugs as well, though, I think, like, um, uh, I mean, you probably remember him from the server, but Colty, he ran into a, I think he ran into a bug where, like, he somehow managed to interrogate the prisoner in this and kill him. I have absolutely fucking lutely no idea how that happened, but... Is that buggy? I just started. It is not. Obviously, it's still see. Obviously, like there, there might be still be some little things though. But the, there's a bunch of bugs that I noticed in C1 that were fixed in uh, in C2. Like I think like, um, one bug, one thing that I do intend to mention. I think I, I think it is in the script. I haven't read it yet. I haven't actually voiced it yet. But 
Um, one uh, thing, hold on. I'm just, I'm just leave the game on pause just so I can let my mask recharge, but. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, one bug that I remember that really annoyed me in this game, but uh, did not, thankfully does not appear in C2, is a weird bug where if you restart a level at any point, um, the, the hacking on your drone um, doesn't work. Um, which is infuriating, because it's like you had a plan, right? And you, know, you, you, you make a mistake as per usual. Um, because everyone makes mistakes, and then you, um, you you reload a save. You try to like do the plan again, though. Where you, like, if you hack the CCTV box with a, with a drone, well, tough tits, it doesn't work anymore. Uh, well, it does. That doesn't happen in C two anymore. It, it like if you reload a save, it's still gonna work. You could still hack things with that. Which is great, and that which also helps because there's a lot more opportunities to do that in the game. So, happened to me in the tutorial. Um, wait, you couldn't. Uh, really? Because that never happened to me on any level. Like I was able to hack the um the thing just easy, just fine. If I reloaded a save on on any level. I'm not gonna go that way. Um, not much there for me. Just have to go. Uh, I didn't get the prompt to hack the box. <sighs> One of my favorite phrases when it comes to these types of games is that the that every copy of Sniper Ghost Warrior contracts is personalized. Like I swear to fucking god. I had to restart the game. Mm. Yeah, I just don't. I, I just don't get it. I know what you're here to do, but for freeing me, let me tell you, there is a hidden camera up at Seven of Katacha, behind the two-way mirror. Perhaps what is filmed there hmm. will be useful. Thanks. Also, I'll remember that. Fun it's fact about this character model as well. Long, remember Good in my Super Mario 3 video where I highlighted Cole Anderson... Uh, as the always, protagonist of Cyber Ghost Warrior 2, location. where you find him as a prisoner, this is the same character model. Like, this is exactly the same. This is, this is, jo this is Cole Anderson right here. Which is interesting. And then also, actually, another uh, little tidbit. I'm probably, this, this isn't actually worth mentioning in the review, but I'm just gonna say it now. Um... Whoops. No, no. Let's see if I can. Hopefully, hope. Can I take them. Oh, thank God. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, so um, one interesting quirks though. So, do you, uh, Onion, do you remember you, you've beat Zinda Province, right? The first level. Nearly ran into that one. Wait, actually, I think it's just CCTV boxes. I think I can still get, um, um, yeah, it, it's just CCTV boxes, I think. Turrets are fine. I 
There we go. My cat just brought me a dead rat again. It's the third time in two weeks. Oh, God. Anyway, so again, Onion, have you beaten uh, Zinda Province at all? It's the first level. So we're going to skip the church because I can't snipe. Um, I'm using my bow. Yeah, yeah, so you've beaten Zinda. Okay, so... You really likely got this, though, but did you get the uh, additional objective, though, where um, Antoine Zarza meets with his de weapons dealer? Did you get that? Fucking... Oh, god damn it. No, I ain't taking that. Hey, you did. Okay, so... Wait, wait, no, wait. That, that was actually the last mission. Never mind. So, did, did you get the... Uh, Tony Tono, uh, thank you for the follow. Didn't expect to get another one in the stream. Well, then one shot. Lovely. So, um, yeah. Funny how you follow as soon as I, like, just make, like, a... A scrub tier move. <laughs> but I, I appreciate the support. Thank you very much. Um, so you kill them both in you kill them both in one shot. So, um, the uh, the funny thing, the dealer, the character model that he uses is shared with a with a wanted target in the sabotage DLC. I actually recognized it right away, which is such an incredibly nerdy thing to recognize, like just an obscure one-off target that you probably aren't even gonna look at, but. <laughs> It, it, it's a thing. I don't even know what to say. Like, it's the same character model. Like, do not ask me how I remember that. I just friggin' do. Also, um... Now that I remember, though, something like, I just want to, like, speaking of, like, weird things and stuff, because, like, stuff that could be interesting content, you know, maybe sometime after I fi finally finish the frickin' C2 video, um, one thing that I could do is that, okay, so, uh, a while ago, on, in, even though it's actually against the rules, I don't know how they managed to get by, I guess because the, the, the server's pretty much just dead, but, um, someone, um, kind of posted screenshots of them, like, using out-of-bounds, uh, mods and stuff like that to actually go through long-shot contracts on foot. So, like, I'm actually really curious, though. So I, I might just go to those areas, like, um, and just, like, place myself in those levels, though, and just see what I can do on foot, though. And see, I mean, I, they're obviously not designed for it, but, well, like, I got flung. But, yeah, I think that would be really interesting if I did that. about that shot. Hey, he's walking away. I'll leave him be. I, 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 I that, that would be cool, but I mean, it, it could also be a horrifically buggy mess, but we'll see. Also, one um, fun fact, I've actually never been in this part of the map. <laughs> um, I mean, it's not that much different, though. Normally, I like, go through there, but I've never been on this side of the bridge. I think there's an armored vehicle to be passing through here. Yeah, but, like, even though I'm... Like, one, one thing that would actually be... Oh. Oh, I, I just missed the jump spot. Um, one thing that uh, I would be super interested in, though, even though I'm I'm very sure that they probably did not bother recording these lines, what would happen if you interrogated one of a long one of the long shot contracts targets? Would they use a generic enemy line, or would they have unique dialogue? That's what I'm really wondering. 
Not that they would say anything interesting, because none of the targets say anything interesting when you uh, interrogate them, unfortunately. Not in C2. I died to my first minefield here. Oh, God, yeah. Like, I think the annoying thing about minefields in this game, like, they're not hard to deal with, though. But because they're so easy to deal with, every single time you die to one, you just feel like an idiot. Because it was every minefield death is 100% avoidable. I mean, I, I guess that's the case with any minefield. But, like, you have a mask that highlights them. So you just you literally just have to be slow and careful. So if you if you die to them, then it's like, yeah, it's your fault. Um... And it's basically just a jump scare every single time that friggin' happens. Yeah, I'm just gonna restart that. Okay, I have a hypothesis here. When that happens, I think what I think what happens is that I shoot their arm when they're doing something, and that doesn't count as a kill. That's what I'm thinking is happening here. Um, what's like? I'm gonna fill up my water bottle real quick, and I'll be right back. Hold on. Yeah, that one is fine because it hit his arm. Yeah, it did. So, oh, it was just a Bonnie. I thought I saw something on the vehicle here. Excuse me. Wait, what? That time he didn't even care. I got a hit marker and he didn't care that time. Or, oh wait, never mind. He, now they're suspicious. Well, they shouldn't be connected to the villa anyway. Someone's gonna make a run for it. Or maybe they might be connected to the villa. I don't know. Oh, yeah, they are. They are alerted. Why did I even bother with that? For God's sake, I could just walk right, right by. Screw it. <laughs> Clumsy, complacent streamer. <laughs> Jesus. Screw you. Two things I'm going to do. I'm going to um, put up that spotlight. Oh, I think I'll be real careful about cameras too. It's not just uh, the spotlight. I know where a, a thing is, though, but I don't know if I can actually 
um, get to it without getting spotted. Let me just see if it's scattered out. If it can even like, you, if it can, re my, if my drone can reach it even better. Um, oh, it's just right there. Okay, so, I mean, again, this probably won't work because. Um, uh, like of the 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 bug I mentioned earlier, which is not one of the bugs that was fixed. But oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, never mind. It does work. Okay. Was that fixed? I'll take it. Whatever. It worked. Well, we'll see if I inevitably screwed up, screw up, though. If I'm just Lord fucked. Has left his camp. ETA, 90 seconds from you. Getting a real good look at the big boss. You know what to do. Other soldiers, give me their positions. Over there! Please, don't! Well, I don't know if I want to kill those guys, because that officer's up there. Honestly, this might be kind of difficult uh, with, with the bow, because I've just... I don't trust it. Like I, I trust at this point. I I almost trust it about as much as I trust the um. Uh, C C uh the Cyber Ghost Warrior three bow, which is not very much. We actually okay. I think now. Mm, hold up. God forgive me if I failed you. I... Shit. Yeah. Fucking knew it. I think Dorzhev might return to his uh, camp again. So, gas is still like really OP in uh, in loud. Cause you can still just do that to a heavy, like just neutralize him. So easy. though like I know the I know this shouldn't be doing anything to it though but it just this is just like I just kind of feel like so many weird things are happening because I tried to move the bodies right because I thought the officer would come over here and look over the balcony but he still turned red even though he wasn't even close to it so I don't even know what happened this is happening a lot in this stream and I just do not understand Worth it. <laughs> Stay in cover. HQ, this is Alpha One Six. We've 
The last saw you, not the one above. Oh, okay. What? Maybe you could be right. Exit points are now marked on your map. If nothing else, though, this is like the close bow is hilarious. Yeah. Didn't expect that guy. Well, hopefully, um, I'll still be able to stealth this. I don't know. We'll see. Well, I spawned all the way down here. Oh. Well. You know, like for me, I don't see this as a bad thing though, because I actually, I actually kind of like how punishing the uh, these acrobatics. Yeah. Um. I personally, I actually kind of like how punishing the checkpoints are. So I honestly don't mind. I don't care. Um. Yeah. We'll see if I can still hack the box, though, because then I'll put a massive hole in what I want it to do. If not, then I do have another idea, but um, another path that I know that could be a little bit e that could also be fairly easy. So if this doesn't work, then um, I got a better idea. Because there's also a, a CTTV box on the other side that's much easier to get on foot. Oh, got to be careful. I appreciate Punishing Tech when I played a Souls game, yeah. I mean, I appreciate Punishing Checkpoints, though, ever since I realized that save scumming is cringe. Like I would honestly rather like if I make a mistake, I want the I want to be pushed back like you know, at least ten minutes. Like I I don't care if I like the game, I'm not gonna mind. Because it, it feels much better to, in my opinion, like especially in this game. Like if I fuck up, whatever. Um, I, I get if, okay. Like if I get set back, like um, oh I didn't even uh yeah I got to hack the thing. If I get set back, like, you know, like, like there, like, I get set back a lot, then had to replay a lot of this, I, I would rather replay, um, oh, great, they're not making their way back. Let me just quickly hack it, and I'll quickly bring it back. Wait, oh, it still works. They patched it. So, a bunch of weird shit happened, but that one bug got fixed. That's great. <laughs> Oh, this is a real fucking poggers moment right here. As I was saying though, so I'd rather, um... I would rather replay 30 minutes of a... of a checkpoint if it means that I get to like, you know, like the, the bad run, I get to try it from the beginning and do it perfectly instead of neurotically save scumming every like five minutes. Um... And then and beat it that way. And if I make a mistake, oh, I only lost like you know a minute worth of thing. You know what I, you know what I'm talking about, man? Like this is way better, in my opinion. Like to me, this is actually more rewarding. Well, now it's saved. Soldiers are located. Shoot! I'll tell you. They're over there. <gasps> yeah, I like this shot. I I had EMP rounds loaded, so take a look at the it actually models it. That's really cool. I totally forgot I had them loaded though, but they still work, which is amazing. I'll only work my way at the, uh, like, start from the bottom again, just to make it a little bit easier. I'm gonna make it give me a better angle.
I remember, I remember when I did this on foot. Um, going through Your here was has arrived. mostly like quite good. Don't keep me waiting. Although that guy might prove to be a bit difficult, though. Oh, there we go. Someone might see him though, so I gotta be quick. Oh shit, too too low, fuck. Damn it! Damn it! Uh, yeah, that was just me missing my damn shot. That would I would have been fine. Yeah. Anyway, there's the other CCTV terminal. Yeah, I don't trust this bow very much. Like, if I had a pistol, that would have been, like, if I just used a pistol, that would have been way better. Yeah. I'm just gonna... Redo this. Again. <laughs> Sorry for anyone who's watching, if this is extremely Your painful for you, but, like... I like it when my target is to look at the big waiting. boss. One, you know I'm using checkpoints, so whatever, and also... This is just casual. I'm, I'm being as casual as possible. I'm not even trying to, like, um, well, I'm obviously trying to play well, but, like, it's not a big deal. Whatever. I can't see that sniper anymore, but whatever. My friend, welcome. It is an honor that you have come to this nice suit. See that he is buried in it. The honor is mine. A meeting with the great Yakutsk leader is a rare thing indeed. Tell me, my friend, what is on your mind? Krasnoyarsk, Bratsk, Yakutsk. You have much influence in these cities. That is true. Oh, gee. Yeah, this room has such you bad performance because, me. um, the breakable glass okay, that leads to the, okay. to the window is, like, I don't know why, but it's such a goddamn nightmare for, um, a performance. I do not understand why it is so... Oh, oh, oh nearly forgot about that, that thing. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. You will cease your activities in these territories and make them mine. You are fucking with me. You come here to fuck with me. Also, whoever voices Sasha, that was like quite good. You are working for the FSB. Tell me, how much does the Russian Secret Service pay you? Check out the secret entrance, by the way. What? Don't you believe this shit? What I believe does not matter. What others believe does. They are the ones that will put a bounty on your head. Wait, whoa. How the hell do that was you weird. I have built it is because Wait a minute. I can, oh, there we go. Korshikov was a fool. Before he died, Ivanovsky was planning to kill him. Take over. And now Ivanovsky is dead. Yes, that oligarchy. This is a very awesome little a secret passage. It's just. This car is a little bit buggy. Side will you choose, then? Easy to get stuck in here, but... If I am to be on your side, make me an offer. Okay. There are three because it was 144 the whole time. The you probably have a better PC than I do. I control the crossing and the governor is in my pocket. You will have exclusive use of... I've got the recordings. I don't know how to break this glass without, um, drawing attention. map for coordinates. Excuse me. Ugh, missed a chance for a double kill because this frickin' glass is in the way. But whatever. I don't think I put myself in a very good position. Would have would have bullets have gone through this? Oh god, the fucking frame rate. You can probably see it, because I'm streaming at 60 FPS. There is a double agent in the Kremlin working for a Siberian gangster called Agvan Dorsh. Never heard of this organization. Help you uncover a spy. Uh, 
Yeah, but you could probably see the, just how like bad the frame rate is. Like, I look away, it's like a little bit better. Then, no, nah, I can't open that door. There we go. It takes a lot of effort to get through that, which is annoying. I'm probably like doing something very stupid right now. You know, no, 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 no. This is not going to work at all. Is it below 60? I do notice it. Um, I don't have my FPS counter on, but it, it definitely feels like 30 or less. Like, it feels awful. Yeah, I gotta admit, though, I'm not, like, I think, like, um, after using this quite a bit, though, I'm not loving the bow here. Like, it's it's just a lot better in C2, I feel. And I really hope it's not, like, the firing noise, like, you know, doing the work for me, you know? There is no honor in a man like him. But he knows how to do business. And I like a man like that. Knew it. I knew that would that would happen, but I'm willing to take that risk. Exit points are now marked on your map. I have an idea. They'll, they'll never get me in here. Let's get them. Flank him. All right. Surround. Flank him. All right. Let's get them. Let's get them. Pin them down. Surround them. Surround them. Pin them down. Pin them down. Oh. Flank that bastard. All right. Wait, the Flank that bastard. The Flank lines are going to ape way. shit Flank right now. Pin them down. Surround them. Flank that bastard. Flank him. Surround them. All right. Let's get them. Surround them. All right. Pin them you know down. what? You know what I'm feeling like this gameplay feels like. Like whenever I see someone play a game that I really enjoyed and have too many bugs with, and I watch them play it and they see all the bugs, I feel like I'm playing that version of the game that I did not experience the first time. If that makes sense. Like, I think, I don't know if you were the one who mentioned it to me. Yeah, Flake that bastard. I don't know if you were the one who mentioned it to me, but um, I think it was a Jolly Wankor's playthrough of Enemy Front, and he was like exploiting so many bugs that I had never like thought of at all. This is what it feels like right now. I feel like I'm just breaking the game without even really doing anything. I swear this game is good. I just don't. Um, I just don't understand what what I'm doing, like, why it's breaking to this degree, because I swear to God, it's not, like, it was never this broken. Um. Yeah, it was. Yeah. I guess, let's look at it, I get Dorjev. Where is he right now? You know, this would be a lot... Oh, God. Sniper's gonna get me. Or, or not? So it was trying to break the game because that's how he makes the funnies, yeah. Like, that fucking motorcycle thing, like, fuck it, I'm just gonna shoot him. Whatever, I don't care, I'm out of here. I'm not, I'm not safe scumming again. As always, I'll wait for an update from the exfiltration location. What am I doing on objectives? Okay, it's just one last area. Oh, these guys aren't noticing anything, so that's fine. I 
Yeah, but I remember like the one that you showed me like with the uh, the motorcycle. I I never thought to do that. And like, cause it's funny, like our approaches are so different. For me, I was trying to get the most out of that level and he just fucking breaks it by jumping on the motorcycle. Yeah, I can't even believe that works, honestly. Like, I didn't realize the game was that broken. Um, I still stand by the review, though. Um, I, th I think the only review that I, I don't stand by at all is the frickin' SGW2 one. Okay, that bug doesn't happen. Okay, so what I was just trying to do there is I'm um, wondering if I could still interrogate or take down an enemy that was choking to death. Because oddly, in C1, obviously that, that didn't happen there. In C2, you can do that. Um, I don't know if I shared it with you, Onion. I know I shared it with like Julian or something. But the thing is, though, is that so an issue with in C2 is that the interrogations take longer because it's it's um uh like two lines of dialogue I, I mean instead of two lines of dialogue it's three and so they end up taking way longer um but uh but a way to remedy it is that if you gas an enemy with an arrow and then you do in the interrogation though you can save like 10 seconds by doing that because you'll still be able to interrogate them the game will still count it as an interrogation and you'll get the information you want in a fraction of the time. <laughs> I have a clip of that happening though, and I just, I cannot believe that's in that game. But in the less polished C1, you, you can do that. Like, I mean, like, you can't, uh, you can't do that at all. And that's... Also, by now, those enemies should be despawned. Like, those enemies should be despawned. I don't know why the music's still going ape shit. Because normally, like, it would just... It should forget by now. Oh, shit. Don't forget that. Jesus. Yeah, I don't know why the game isn't despawning those enemies, though. This music should not be be playing right now. It, it should have stopped, like, l like several minutes ago. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand what's going on. I mean, it, this isn't a new bug. This has happened a few times, though, but it's like it's very rare. I suppose Gulag prisoners once worked here. Yes, they chained them to their tools. Wheelbarrows, pickaxes, spades, permanently attached to them. This part is great. Look how much like climbing you can do here. This is crazy. Like this is good level design right here.
I'm afraid I'm gonna get his fucking arm instead of his uh, body. Looks, yeah, it, I know. It just feels. It does kind. Of, it's, it is kind of like dishonored, isn't it? There we go. Man down. Shit. Yeah, I knew that would happen. I forgot about that sniper. Exit points are now marked on your map. That one I could see was my fault. I was just being a bit reckless, but I could have gone for a take. I could have gone for a death from below, but those are usually risky, though, if they're facing that direction. So I didn't bother. Bother doing the, the bounty. is a physician guilty of conducting human experiments during the Second Mongolian War. Such crimes have made him a wanted man. Others will be after this target. See that it is you who collects the bounty. Careful, Seeker. Strelsov has a hefty price on his head. You may have competition. Where... And, and, and I'm aware where there's spawn points. Can I use the the drone in this yeah I don't even know why the alarm is still on though even by now enemy should have like Enemy should like, you know, normally they'd like give up search by now, so I don't know why this is still happening. I, I just don't understand what's, this has been such a wacky stream. The game is just like, it's it's like it knows, knows it's being streamed, so it's intentionally just sabotaging itself. I'm still enjoying myself to a degree, but it is weird that it's just doing this shit. And I can't find the rival sniper, so. It's like throwing me every bug. Yeah, it is. I, it, I don't want to say it is the bow, but because again, like I know logically that shouldn't happen, but like it kind of fucking feels like it's the bow.
Wacky anti piracy, lamb out. Yeah, it, 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 it's like a freaking Spyro deal. I don't know if you've seen that one video. It's by a guy named Tech Rules, and he makes like great content, but only like once every millen mill millennium. I'll have to link it to you though. But it's about like Spyro, like age of like year of the. Dr I can't even remember what it's called. They don't play Spyro. But. Um, what the g game did though is that the game essentially breaks slowly breaks down as you play it. it Like it doesn't stop gameplay or do anything weird initially But the game essentially just gaslights you like it'll start doing weird things over time Like it'll do it'll delete some of your progress and stuff. It will um, Make things that should heal you damage you just slowly gaslight you as you play the game and if you're mad enough to keep playing this broken version of Spyro um, if you're just absolutely mad enough to continue doing it, um, uh, and you get to the final boss, though, the game will literally just reset and delete all of your fucking save data. Which is like, I don't know how much more evil you could possibly get with any piracy. Yeah, like, you know, like a. You know, some games just like they'll just shut off with a message or something. Or they're like, you know, a like, I know Pokemon Black and White, for example, uh, you you will no longer get any XP for killing killing things, so it makes the game unplayable because you can't level up. There he is. Yeah. Look at this drip, by the way. But, um, Seeker's drip is better. Um... Yeah, like, so Pokemon Black and White, though, will stop you from, uh, gaining XP. Uh, Heart, Gold, and Soul Silver will just, like, not start- You start a battle, and it'll just soft lock there. Um. And, uh, like, you know, I, th I think one of the Serious Sams will- I, I don't want to shoot from there. One of the Serious Sams will, um... Yes, I was about to say, an, an unkillable enemy, yeah. Which is kind of terrifying. Um. Absolutely no game will ever try to like, like as, as cool as those are, of course, those creepypasta-esque anti-piracy screens just don't exist, as far as I'm concerned. Um, I actually found one channel, though, that did, like, like it's funny, because you, you see, you see, like, the anti-piracy screens that, it reminds me, um, Ed Joseph, thank you for the follow. Uh, thank you for supporting, the, supporting this tiny little community. I very much appreciate it. Anyway, so, as I was about to say, um, there was, uh, like, of course, you know how, like, any piracy, like, videos made the rounds, like, people were making very convincing-looking ones, started with, like, Mario Party, um, and it's all very kind of unnerving and stuff like that, and so, like, those are quite cool, but I can't remember the channel, but I'll probably, like, link it to you, because it's so goddamn, f I haven't actually watched one, though, because I still think that the imagery would still kind of give me nightmares, but... There's like one channel that's making like the most like ridiculously like over the top anti piracy stuff with like death threats and gory images. It's like, bro, what the fuck? Like you you're you're missing the goddamn point now. This is something different. You're just you're just showing shock images at this point. <laughs> I don't actually recommend watching any of them though if you're uh, easily scared like I am, but. Uh... But yeah, that's, uh, it, it was an interesting find for sure. Yeah, whack, I know. It's like, like, you want know, you know that, that guy, like, is the type of guy to ruin the back rooms. Like, um, y you know how, like, I don't know if you've ever been on, like, backroom subreddits, and I know, ew, Reddit, stinky, but, like, uh, the back rooms, like, the thing about the back rooms, what makes them scary is that there's, like, you know, nothing, it's because, like, it's the whole nothing is scarier thing, it's, it's subtle. That's what makes it scary, but then people started doing like, oh, there's like, there's, um, I can't actually break this. It's like, like, oh, the, oh, there's like, there's like levels to the, to the back rooms or whatever. 
and like you know those monsters and stuff like that like the, the fine monsters like you're missing the point like are you freaking 12 like the back rooms doesn't need these details it's scary because there's nothing on them no <laughs> that being said though the whole like lore expansion with like uh I don't know if you've seen them or heard of them, but there's been, like... And, and when I say kid, I mean actually a fucking kid. This guy's, like, 16, and he's doing incredible things. Kane Pixels. Just insane backrooms lore with incredibly well-made found footage videos. Like, I think it's all made in, like, Blender and stuff like that. And it looks fucking legit. And the lore he's making is actually very cool. I can't remember all of it, and it's been a while since I've actually looked at it, but it's like this, um sort of whatchamacallit it's like it's it's like scp but like in a good way like oh, that guy's gonna see the body yeah. start with live action stuff I'm doing really well with the bow now. I think it's because I kind of know its tolerances, so to speak. Okay, so if I do anything here, it's probably going to, like, uh, you know, alert people because everyone's so close by. You know, I can start with, yeah, live action stuff, though. Yeah, need to see... Some people just need to see what to fear. I guess, though. Like, I guess there's... At the same time, you know, like, I guess in a way... I, I can't, like, really fault people for wanting to get creative, right? Like, from, from a creativity standpoint, I kind of get it. But at the same time, it's like... You just sort of miss the point. And, like, I understand why people are mad at, at those types of trends happening. Okay, I'm just gonna, like, just pretty much, um... Now this is gaming right here. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, a weird language thing just appeared up randomly. That's odd. Thanks, Windows 10. Fuck it, I'm not risking it. I'm gonna snipe this shoot, shoot him. No, that was a bit of a, a silly attempt. The Windagoon, he's a decent creepy passive user that I watch occasionally when I'm bored. I've, I don't think I've ever heard of him. Oh, so, um, you made a video on the back rooms, okay. Oh yeah, so now this is uh, an interesting bit here. You loot the body, and then what happens here? Team Alpha approach. And they're just this group of mercs that kind of just appear after you loot the bounty here. They, there's no, like, like, Handler doesn't elaborate on them. They don't say anything special. You can't interrogate them. Um, they just sort of appear and they're never brought up again. And I just, I want to know what the, who these guys are. It's just another thing just to add to uh, Contracts' weird ass story. See, it's right there, like these guys. We have eyes on hostiles, ready to engage. Oh shit. Oh. I guess he gave up. Yes, yeah, these guys though, like, don't know what's up with them, but yeah. Never do appear again. The lore, yeah. Like, it's it's weird for me to be like to feel somewhat invested in a, in a game's lore, especially a game like this, though. But I don't know. Like, maybe my standards are just fucking low, but. I always found, like, just the little bits of backstory that they dropped in this game to be, like, super goddamn interesting. Can I actually use the bow on this guy? If not, I'm just gonna switch to the sniper. Ah, got him. 
I just have to raise my shot a little bit. damage? Okay, no. Okay. By the way, if you're wondering what I was doing there, I'm trying to, like, uh, like, get a little bit of fall damage so I can use an adrenaline shot just so I can run faster. And, I swear, are the people over there still hostile? Like, th it's been playing this combat mu music constantly. Again, it's just whipping out every single goddamn bug. Yeah. Uh, speaking of, like, creepy YouTubers, though, um, Onion, have you, uh, ever... What do you think about analog horror? We were talking like Local 58 and Gemini Home Entertainment. Those are my like my two favorite ones. Like, oh my god. Well, as you shoot them from the side. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, because I do actually remember that happening in um in C2 even. Like, I shot someone from the side, case in point. Oh. Never mind, I got that guy. <laughs> I accidentally let go of the, of the trigger without, like, retracting it, and it actually worked. Oh, yeah, Local 58 is just fucking god tier. Like, oh my god. And... Gemini Home Entertainment, though, is so good, too. Like, it's not just from, like, a lore standpoint. Like, I love analog stuff. Like, I just love, like, like it's so goddamn convincing that the aesthetics, like, they're on point. Like, you could show me, like, like you know, some of the things from Gemini and, tell, like, like, if you remove all the creepy stuff. You could, like, show those to me. Like, I, I told me, like, these are, like, just some VHS tapes, though, by some, uh, like, unknown um, uh, publisher of VHS tapes and whatnot. And, like, I would I would probably actually believe you. And as well as, like, Local 58. Like, I don't know why, but the thing that intrigues me the most about that is, like, the fucking logo. Like, the logo, it's so convincing. Like, it looks so real. And that's what makes it, like, almost scarier. The only problem is, though, is that... I mean, the only problem I have with Local 58, though, is the fact that the programs... I'm going to play that one for an hour. Um, the only problem... Like, and it's not a big one, though, but it's more like... Um, like, the, the, the shows that appear on Local 58 don't feel like shows. Um, like, like, some of them actually don't make a whole lot of sense. Like, the first one, which is... Uh, you are on the fastest available available route. Um. Uh, that one. Uh, like that's the first video on the channel, and that like that that's not a like that is not a broad or normal broadcast. Like, why is there like someone's dash cam footage playing on TV instead of normal programming, right? Um, although. You know, the, you know, long, comfy, almost like the podcasts. Uh, yeah, also, though, um, well, that being said, though, there is, like, I'm pretty sure the backstory to Local 58 is that, um... Uh... It, I think, like, the main thing about Local 58 is that, um... It is, uh... Let's see. Oh, yeah, like, supposedly the lore is that it's, like... It, like... Local 58 is just kind of like the vessel for some outside um, beings to communicate with us and to threaten us. So, which is why Local 58 doesn't actually show anything that's like, um, you know, normal programming. Outside of maybe uh, a show for kids or a show for children. Um, but then again, what fucking children's programming is running at 3 in the morning? <laughs> Alright, we'll just hop into this level. I, I don't know how, I don't really, I really d don't know how well this is gonna go with, um... Greetings, Seeker. With the bow, but we'll just see. Your next contract is Dr. Antanasia Alikanova. An expert genetic engineer, she runs...
at the location. Unsurprisingly, it's cold here. We have tracked Zaitsev to that area. Dr. Anikonov's whereabouts are unknown. Mystery flesh pit one. You're gonna tell me where the other <sighs> What was that one again? Are we talking about local 58 still? Because I can't remember. Yeah, this area is just hard to stealth regardless of what you do, honestly. Just because the layout is just so, like, compact and dense. Like, going loud here is almost, like, inevitable, so... Eh, you know what? Like, you, you don't screw it, Lou. Like, if the situation doesn't call for the bow, I'm not going to bother anymore because this thing's just not as reliable as I wanted it to be, even if it is kind of fun at points. But I'm just going to, like, just, you know, just dick around something else. It's just kind of nice to play this game again, but without the purpose of, like, capturing footage. What do I want to get rid of? Well, actually... Yeah, I don't need to actually use a turret there. I don't think anyone will actually see that guy die. They shouldn't. Oh, no, 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 they, they somehow did. Maybe he just turn, happened to turn around at the right time or something. Whatever, going loud here was kind of inev inevitable anyway. Gamer. I think uh, in Local 58, like... Um, there's a lot of good ones on there, though, but I think my favorite one is either Weather Service, because I think that was the first one that I saw, which is absolutely terrifying. That one is, like... Like, just, just, like, you know, the fucking, like, you know, don't look at the moon. Oh, shit. Oh. Um, that one. Or a contingency, which is, like, you know, the, um... Uh, basically the government telling every, every American citizen to kill themselves, um, because they've gotten invaded by some kind of insane force. So, no, it's a different one. It's like, some people discovered a living, branching cave with its own ecosystem and fauna, and they built a theme park inside of it. The content involves pamphlet and ads, like, all the attractions they have. Um, no, I've never heard of that one, but maybe link that to me. That sounds really interesting. That almost sounds like something that, um, Gemini would do. Yeah, you know what? I, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna snipe now. Like I, I think I've had a little bit of enough of the bu forcing myself to use the bow when it's not the most effective thing I can use. We'll ju we'll just plank at this point. Oh, actually though, um, so wait, so Onion, have you actually heard of um, Gemini Home Entertainment? And if so, have how many of them have you watched? Uh, I hate it when sni when like snipers are like behind a post or any enemy, and so I can't scan them, and so I don't know how far away they are. Cause like the thing about C2 though, I like how the rangefinder is in the binoculars, so if you're into that in that situation, you can still tell how far away something is, but it's not tied to your scope. Well, 
Okay, I guess regardless of uh, what you answer. So, they obviously uh, this is a decent, this is a good Your line of dialogue. efforts have put them on alert. And how will these doctors' deaths help the client? Am I to remind you we're talking eugenics here? I don't know why, but I love that line. Just as the, the fucking delivery, it's like, bruh, like, this is kind of a big deal. These people are not good. <laughs> Oh, Gemini, I want no Gemini, I haven't watched most of it. Okay. Well, have you watched the episode on Lethal Omen? Which is some kind of fi fictional video game. Yes, you have. Okay. So, did you know that Lethal Omen is actually a legit game you can play? Like, it exists. It wasn't just, it wasn't just some, like, you know, a barely playable thing just made or in Blender or something. That, like, for the video. No, it is actually a fully playable game that you can download. Yes, it is real. Gamer. Look, see, that was so difficult. I did, how was I supposed, like, like, that was so hard. Like, I don't know how to divide uh, 450 and, and 500 to get 450. Yeah, it is wild, isn't it? Um, and so, what I was thinking, though, honestly, like, um, well, I had several ideas for this October, um, because apparently I, I feel obligated to do seasonal content on, on streams, though, as if a lot of people are going to watch it. But, like, um, um, so, like, Octo for uh, October, I was thinking, uh, um, you know, I play, um, like, obviously I'll start with Dead Space, though, but, like, obviously I don't think Dead Space is gonna, hopefully Dead Space isn't gonna take the whole damn month. I don't think it will. But, um, what? Oh, sorry, I'm just focusing. Um, I don't think that it's gonna take the whole month, but if it if it doesn't, and I beat it, like, you know, pretty quickly, then, you know, I might, like, just try to, like, you know, find some other horror games that I could just play and have no problems with. Um, 10 to 12 hour game. Uh, wait, which what? Lethal Omen? I heard there's multiple endings, though, but is it really that long? Anyway, so, oh, oh, Dead Space, <laughs> fucking, Jesus, um, okay, it's Dead Space, oh, shit, hopefully I can actually get him, oh, yeah, so Dead Space, okay, so, probably will take, like, a couple of streams there, I don't know how, also, I don't know how much time I'll have, but we'll see, if, by some miracle, I do beat it relatively quickly, which would be great, um, well, there goes stealth, but whenever I'm far away, they won't, they can't really see me from here. And I kill, I did kill. Um, anyways, I was planning to like play some, you know, other games and whatnot. And I was thinking like, you know, like I, I could, I could play a bit of blood just for old time's sake. Cause I love blood. Yeah, look at that. You know, I, I missed a few shots, but I managed to get them. Um, because, wow, me medium rifles in this game are just so fucking strong. If you're building it, yeah, blood is, blood is a gift. Nailed that guy. You know, you know, I'm having a lot more fun just sniping instead of forcing myself to use an unreliable bow. Um, yep, that's the uh, binoculars in action. Yep, they are none the wiser.
Or was it did not measure that guy at all? Sweet, got that heavy. Well, I yeah, besides them seeing a body though, like I like they are just like they don't even know I'm here. That's this is so satisfying. But yeah, so like blood obviously is like a semi um a horror themed game. Especially when the spiders come along. Um I'll I'll get to the kind of funny story with that. Um fear I probably wouldn't play just because like it hasn't been that long since I replayed it again and I like fear a lot, but I don't know if I'd I'd uh rush to replay it again uh so soon. Um I thought it would be really fun to for some godforsaken reason I have this installed, but like I have blood too. So I thought, like, for shits and giggles, let's see how fucking broken this piece of shit game is. <laughs> um, we'll see what happens. I'm actually running low on ammo. Uh. Oh. I'm gonna relocate. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, fuck, another sniper. Yeah, I missed one. I knew there was one I missed though, but I just couldn't tell uh, how far away he, uh, where exactly he is. Um, but yeah, Blood 2. But then also I thought like, well, I know what I, I heard a lethal omen. Why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I just give that a shot, right? Oh God, no! Blood 2 is broken as hell. Every weapon does random damage like it's an RPG. Yeah, that's why I want to play it. Oh, they're getting into the vehicle. Oh, I'm gonna EMP that, actually, and see what happens. And <laughs> they get out of the vehicle. Get fucked. No, no driving for you. I'm gonna try again. I know there's actually an ammo crate down here, so I'm just gonna quickly go grab that. Cause why not? No, but like, uh, I still feel that would actually just, like, uh, like, I know Blood Two is broken as fuck though. But I like, tell me, like, t that was so, yeah, it is. It's even better in C2. But like, seriously, like. Like, tell me that you wouldn't watch me try to struggle through it, though. Like, tell me that that wouldn't be funny as hell to not actually play it, but watch someone else suffer. Like, <laughs> don't you want to see me suffer? <laughs> I feel like my, I still feel like that the pre randomizer stream was amazing because I was suffering so much. <laughs> the fucking concussions were insane. So, like, yeah, you will, yeah. Man, though, like, I mean, I, I know this isn't, like, a hot take or anything like that, though, but, like, I, I wish Blood 2 was good. <laughs> I really wish it was, because it almost looks like it's a good game, but it isn't. Right? Yeah, cause like, cause like, I don't know if, the, if this is a hot take, but when I first saw like Civi's, um, like, you know, video on it, which is one of my favorite Civi videos, um, he didn't have time. Yeah, that's a shame. It's like, I don't know about you though, but like, for some reason, I really like the way it looks graphically. Like, I, I think it looks cool. 
and I like some of the ideas that they had with like um you know like just like the guns and stuff like that it just seemed like, like the guns just seemed really neat to me I don't know why um and uh also I also do want to say that like um Gideon's voice actor is great um like whoever voiced Gideon bravo he sounds so good unfortunately I think I heard that he did pass which is unfortunate though but like one of the best voices in that game um no offense to St uh Stefan Waite Feeling you're forced to finish unfinished game, knowing you could have done better and had time. Yeah, yeah. What what did uh, Jace Hall say? He said that like you know like I think it's like they would have though, but like at this point like like who cares? Like like it's not worth the money. Oh yeah, it, it is heartbreaking. In a way, I almost want to play it just to pl just to pay my fucking dues, honestly. Because frankly, I just feel fucking bad for it. Publisher would have to go bankrupt too. You know, if you made a good sequel to Blood, maybe you would have more money. Just a thought. Like, I know games are expensive though, but I think that would have been a, a, a pretty good investment. But I don't know. I guess that does take time to make it good, but. It's definitely one of those games that just makes me very, very sad. And that guy's holding an invisible gun. Yeah, and I killed everyone. That's great. Yeah, this is this. I think this is a lot better than me trying to use the bow when I shouldn't be. I, I look a lot more competent. So it's kind of like the, uh, the Telltale situation, Hopefully yeah. It will show successful gene Wait, what happened with Telltale again? Because I'm not really up to speed on that because, um... Like, I, I don't play Telltale games. I just kind of know that, like, vaguely that something bad happened with Telltale and... Yeah, no, bu no bueno. And also another thing I have been kind of wanting to try, and even though, like, I, I know Julian, like, pretty much, like, warded me off it anyways, because it's, like, polishing a turd, but, like, there does exist a mod for Blood 2 called Extra Crispy, though, that tries to fix it. Like, it does its damn best to try to, like, you know, make the parts that suck, like, good. I've got your data. Because good I work. will say the thing about Blood 2, and this, this is going to sound insane, but, like... God, not again. Coming up on a no, no, I'm dead. What? Again, I just don't know why that keeps happening. Like, I would, like, like, I would be better off using the fucking pistol. Like, look at this shit, man. Shit! Yeah, it's so much better. No fuss. That is 265 meters away. I don't even need that granular, but whatever. But anyways, as I was saying, so when I when I did install like Blood 2, I actually like I don't know like I can't remember if I was actually intending to play it or whatever, but I did actually install it, right? And I um coming up on a of course just to station. see if it worked. Um because I had to like do a whole bunch of like black magic to get the damn thing to run in the first place um i just like tested it out for a little bit i mean like i know this is gonna sound like very empty praise and and to an extent it is but like first impressions like just just moving in like 
a you know a five a, a five meter squared worth of area. Didn't even open a door. I just kind of walked around. The movement feels great. <laughs> um, I will say that the movement in that engine feels pretty good. Like I'd argue, like it's kind of reminds me of just how friggin' smooth um, the old normally is. I wait a minute. This is supposed to be running. I didn't even shoot that. What? Okay. I mean, I'm not exactly complaining, but that's not supposed to happen. That that jammer is supposed to be working. I didn't shoot it yet. How am I able to, to, to like, do this? Anyway, whatever. Let's plink some more, because that is the optimal... Strategy and it is actually I kind of want to risk that. Actually, no, I don't think it's gonna see that. I don't think I don't think the Telltale got greedy and acquired every IP license they could get their hands on. Worked their devs like workhorses, even though they were going bankrupt. Devs got notified about bankruptcy the day they got let go by the news. Telltale didn't even bother to... Yeah, God. What the fuck? The devs will will remember that. <laughs> Jesus, yeah, that's fucking rough, man. Like, wait, wait. Why the fuck is the games actually such a fucking sweatshop? Like... It, it, it just fucking sucks, man. Like, I... I can't rem... I mean, I think I saw, um... I think Telltale supposed to be coming back, but under a different publisher. Hmm. I don't know. Either they can do better, or they can fuck off, like, Jesus. Um... That's, uh, what was I gonna say? I, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> well. Uh, okay, let's keep plinking. That guy is to uh, switch ammo. Oh yeah, they're making a new wolf redacted. Hmm. Well, I wonder if anyone's going to buy that. Let's face it, maybe, maybe they will. But, uh... Yeah, this sniper's tricky, because he's, um... Like, due to his position, he can actually be spotted, like, from several areas. He can be spotted from, like, this building, or spotted by the people down here. Like, he's... But at the same time, though, he makes it really hard to, like, cross this area. Which is, like, entering from here is a little bit better from entering from over here. Oh, there's the doctor. I... Didn't tag him or whatever. I actually like the first one. Well, I don't know. I've never really been interested in, in things like that, but I mean, whatever. Could I get away with sniping him? I don't think so, actually. Nah. <sighs> Shit. <sighs> yep, there we go. That was hair trigger. Yeah, that, that's kind of the annoying thing about this game. Sometimes you shoot a heavy in the helmet and you break the visor. You don't actually kill them. And that is a one-way ticket to getting caught, which is unfortunate, but whatever. Whatever. Play through the mistake. Because it's not... F in this case, because I'm using... I'm still, you know, I'm, I haven't been spotted yet. It's not foobar.
Okay, I'm, I'm really close to like thinking about like I had I know I had like a funny story to tell, but I can't quite remember. It's at least a mildly amusing one. Like, I, I just it's it's I completely lost it. Shot his arm off. Can I get, can expose himself or not? Targets are always kind of hard to hit sometimes. Purple said this game sucked because the AI is brain dead. Well, that's fucking purple for you, man. Screw him, whatever. Because the thing is, though, like, everyone says the AI is brain dead, but like. Like, what makes it brain dead exactly? Because, like, people said that, say that, but they don't come up with any actual, like... If you can give me an example of something happening, then it, then I would actually, to some level, like, sympathize with it. Because sometimes the AI does do some, like, uh, one-off weirdness, right? But then, like, the people who say the AI sucks, they never, like, elaborate on their fucking point. So, like, do you expect me to take you seriously at that point? Like, God, fuck off. Like, holy shit. Hopefully Purple doesn't watch the fucking VOD, but whatever. Like, have you noticed that? Like, no one ever comes up with, like, oh, the, the AI is bad. Well, how is it bad? Angry NPC face. Like, that's pretty much exactly what always fucking happens. Because, like, pretty much, like, the people who I've, I've spoken to and have seen who, like, speak highly of the game, like, even, like, like Julian has... They, they had to do inverse schematics in the game to be acknowledged as good AI. Like, fucking, like, I don't understand. They do everything that they need to. Like, yeah, like they, do they have weird one-off quirkiness? They do. I don't deny that. Like, they do do weird things sometimes. And I'm, I'm not saying that it's, like, a good... I'm not saying that it's good it does that. I'm just saying that it is a thing that happens. But can you, like say the thing that it's doing so i'm so i'm I, I know for sure that you're actually like being truthful and not just like saying like you know like this coming with some like bullshit empty criticism that like tells nobody anything because like bad ai just kind of feels like a fucking buzzword you know what i mean it's like one of those fucking but like it's like immersion breaking as well like it's just it, it's a it's a freaking buzzword <clears throat> because like even like julian for example actually he like he not only like doesn't have any problem with the ai for the most part he, he's actually like like suggested that i praise it more and give it more credit as well as like another guy too in my comments in the contracts video they said that like the stealth ai gives you a lot of like flexibility and stuff and there's a lot of like granular um ai states for when you're detected and stuff like that and it is true and like i've been able it took me a while to actually be able to talk about it again but like they do do like you know like a, like I'm not saying it's mind-blowing, but it does what you need it to do, exactly. Who would us be? You're not being paid to ask questions, Seeker. Do your job. 
Like, my, like, my own, like, because, you know, like, the only thing that I don't like about this game's AI, like, in Contracts 1 specifically, is that there's a lot of hair trigger AI that happens. Like, one, a, one enemy gets alerted, the entire base gets alerted, um, without you having a second to really react. Like, you saw it earlier when I was, when I shot that heavy and broke his visor instead of actually killing him. And if it was C2, I would have had a chance to kill him. But because this is C1, um, well, there was a bit of a blunder. And um, normally I could actually use the zip line, but I don't see the prompt. Uh, wait, I saw the prompt. But yeah, like, it's, it's just so goddamn frustrating. Of course, that's like fucking purple. Like, he just has so many, like, weird takes. I, I just don't know what his deal is either. Like, even though I haven't watched it, and it is on my it is on my bucket list, though, for sure. Like, you know, like, oh, well, well, look at look at me. Mr. Pan actually, like, saying that he wants to watch something. You know, if I get the mental fortitude to do so. Um, fucking, um... Like spy fit, spy family, for example. From an encrypted signal, it's several days old, but it's between the contract targets. Playing it now. Like he said that spy family suck for some reason. Utopia. That is what is so exciting. We can improve it in so many Well, I don't know what utopia is, but uh, no, he said like spy family suck for some reason, even though like, yeah. And it, and then it said like and then like Julian just retorted and said like um it's like like, like it's like you know like, like what kind of like fucking standards do you have but like he was like like and this is Julian we're talking about as well and and then he said like oh is it is it so bad that someone like you know expects the bare minimum like it, for fuck's sake man like I don't even know at this point dude like you. Like, I mean, like, I, I, I highly doubt that they're gonna, like, actually see... Oh. oh. Yeah, you see that? Oh, shit. I thought we... Okay, I thought I was gonna get a collateral there, but I didn't. But anyways, that was weird. Um, I thought I was gonna get a collateral. Anyways. But it's like, um, I assume they're not gonna say this. But I, I'm not gonna talk too much shit, but I will say that, like... There is a reason, like, because I, I, I dropped, like, an invite link to the server in, like, multiple places. There is a reason I did not drop it in Rosa's Seeker, server. We've extracted a recording from because, like, I don't Seeker. want, like, it's even though I, old, I don't think they have, like, the other guys have too much interest in me in the first place. But I don't now. want people like Purple, I don't want Sarge, I don't want Imp in the server. And I, I don't have the heart to, like, just straight up ban them if they join. Um, like, I, I just don't want them in there because I see the shit that goes down in the server and I don't want those types of conflicts. It's, it's, it's exhausting, honestly. But anyways, though, I probably should stop raining with other people live on stream because that's a bad look, but, like, still. Some would drop in just to shit on you. Yeah, and I would ban them. Like... Like, I don't know, like, I, I, I mean, I have, like, minor beef with some people. Like, I won't say beef, though, but, like, I wouldn't say, like, like there's people in that server I would I would not call friends. Like, I feel like the only people in that server I would, I could wholeheartedly call a friend is uh, you, Julian, um, and Rosso. Can't even tell what's good or bad anymore, yeah. Honestly, at this point, though, you get to a point where you just realize that everything is a mix of both. Um, yeah. Like, I don't, I, I, I'm not even gonna ask, but, like, I don't know if anyone's, like, complained about me specifically. I know that, like, th there were, like, a couple of times where, like, I, I got into, like, weird arguments with Augmented. I don't talk to, I, I avoid those now. Because at first I was really, like, annoyed with his attitude, because I just kind of hate, I, I kind of, like, find Sturgeon's attitude and atti attitude's really annoying. And so I was kind of, like, dunking on him for that a little bit, though, and then, but it was getting ugly, so I just you know, stopped. 
No, it, it, like, there's no point to have the argument though, because it's not like I can convince them that their viewpoint's wrong, like whatever. But um, he once called me a fence sitter, and I don't know what that means, but it probably isn't good. <laughs> Because I, I specifically remember the conversation though. It was about um, like when we were looking at death loop footage and stuff like that. It's like, oh, like the game doesn't look that bad, and everyone was else was shitting on it. Um, in retrospect, I will concede that y'all were probably right. Gotta love the turret. Like, who would who would uh, come into shit on me though, Onion? Who who do you think that would be, who do you think would do that in the server? Because besides augmented, um, like arguing with me one time though, I don't really know if there's anyone there who actually like Sarge doesn't even know that I'm not a fan of him. Purple would, yeah. Well. Definitely, yeah. Yeah, I would just straight up just ban him if I saw him. Like, I, I, I don't want him in the server, man. He's just... He's just really bitter and weird. I say as I sound very bitter and weird. But, um... Yeah. Do I have line of sight on that guy? Oh, fuck. Well... Oh, that didn't actually alert anyone. Good. If that did, that would be extremely bad. Maybe that sniper might actually see something. I don't know. Thank God. That actually got him this time. Hmm. That guy. I once said it feels like passing through a poorly maintained toilet every time he joined the conversation, but he's been subdued a bit uh, from then on. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I, I'm kind of aware that some people also like meme on uh, a purple a bit. Like something about his re I think Rosa once said like something absolutely scathing about his reading comprehension once. I can't remember. Like something about like bringing down the reading comprehension of Bangladesh. Like he, like he brings the curve down or something like that. <laughs> Those guys in the back, I don't know if I can... I, I can't get them. I can't really quite kill this guy because he's going to, like, drop, die there and they're going to see the body. I... What the... That was weird. Uh-oh, that shotgun might see. He's definitely going to fucking see. Oh, no, salvaged it. Because we're just that fucking good. Wait, I should have EMP'd that turret. Ooh, shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Okay. Jesus. Normally, it's not supposed to do that. I. Okay, now they saw the body. Whatever. Not a big deal.
It's funny when you, everybody gets alerted the moment one enemy sees you, but but you get a window when they see a dead ally. <sighs> yeah, it is a bit weird though. Like C2 does feel a lot better with the stealth, I think. I wouldn't say it's absolutely perfect in that game either, but like you get you get a, you get a lot less weirdness like this. I'm gonna inspect this thing. Still having doubts about killing the good doctors? I've marked the exfiltration locations to your map. All right. Normally, I like to, I like to use this entrance. It tends to be the best, in my opinion. And the only problem is though that usually there's a sniper right across the sniper that I would normally interrogate, which and sometimes it has actually spotted me. At this point, you can make. You can make, can't make a perfect stealth game. Yeah, that's true. You can't make a perfect <laughs> stealth game. Because even in Thief, I've seen some fucking weirdness. Do I hold it against the game? No. In that case, it's just the game system's working as intended. I still think my funniest Thief moment was when... Um, I, uh... Like, so basically, an enemy was chasing me, right? I hid underneath the table. I hid underneath the table, and it couldn't get me from there. And then he went back to a suspicious state, and I literally just ended up hitting him in the balls with the with my blackjack, and he and he got knocked out, which was fucking hilarious. <laughs> I I can't believe it fucking worked. Okay, hopefully the guy across the building across the field doesn't see me. Tell you, they're over there. Okay. Yeah, this sniper across the field here. Sometimes he can fuck me up. Um, sometimes he actually spots me while I'm interrogating that guy, and it is so annoying when he does. This time we're good. Then... Over here and just kill... Killing this guy is a good idea, typically. Hopefully, it's not blocked. And it is, it is blocked. It's not firing. Ah, oh, damn it. Poison arrows. Oh, uh, you mean gas arrows? Yes, I do, but that was a, one of them was a shotgunner, so I couldn't do it. See? So I couldn't couldn't have done it. All that, and I forgot about the freaking cameras. Uh, hold on, let me just quickly get a uh, uh, charger for my um, laptop. It's a twenty-five percent. the wrong charger ah yeah give me a moment shit <laughs>
All right. Yeah, we'll just save scum. Probably would probably sets me back by quite a bit anyway, so it's not a big deal. Um, okay, so the, the sniper is dead. The sniper is dead, and the yeah, then the sniper up there is not there anymore. And that sniper is also no, that sniper is still there. Okay. So I didn't lose too much progress, but just enough. Those physics objects actually kind of scared me for a moment. Wait a minute. I for... Wait, did I... No, 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 I did steal the pen drive off of him. Okay. I can't remember if she was a smoker or not. For a moment, I thought I forgot to um, I, I thought I forgot to loot Zaid Seven. I was gonna get a little bit annoyed if I forgot. forget this time we're gonna send in the drone and hack the CCTV assuming the bug doesn't happen it shouldn't again it seemed to have worked oh 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 now we have the bug now we have the bug you see this prompts not here not appearing can't go so we're just gonna have to be really careful about this one camera here, which honestly, I'm. It might lure someone, but I'm just gonna shoot this. I don't think anyone's actually gonna gonna come here though. Oh, one guard might, but I could probably just kill him before he gets here. <clears throat> yeah, that's the fucking bug I was talking about, and I hate that one. Oddly, it didn't happen earlier, but it happened this time. And got a checkpoint, which is nice. Thank you. Did they spawn the doctors yet? No, no, no. They must have. Come on a sec. Let me just... I didn't, I didn't directly look at the helipads, so maybe it just didn't trigger, trigger them, but... Wait a minute. There's one of them. Okay. Okay, for for a second, I thought that the fucking doctors didn't spawn. Although I know another one should should be patrolling around here, though. Normally she does do that. Oh, there she is. I was gonna have a freaking conniption if I ran into a ran into like a particularly bad bug there. All right, I I, I also. That's that's strange though. What? Because this is tied here, dude. I can't remember if she's a smoker or not. 
I straight up don't remember, and Handler isn't telling me at all. It didn't trigger the dial. I didn't. I didn't. I don't think I triggered the dialogue last time, and so now I'm not getting it, and so I don't know who to kill because now the. Uh, um, if I kill the wrong one, it's going to set off an alarm, which is the first time that's actually uh, going to be a problem for me. So the only thing left to do, really, is just try to eliminate as many people as I can before I engage the doctors. That one looks like a, I think, was that, was she smoking there? Anyway, as far as I can start actually, now that I think about it, I don't, I didn't mention this in the video. I probably should have. Can I sink shot them? Uh, the alarm will still go off. Because if I kill the wrong, if, if the body double dies, the alarm goes off. Um, if I recall correctly, actually, though, like, what I found consistently, I probably should have mentioned this, but, um, I, I didn't, unfortunately. But the... The smoker always stands here. See? She's smoking. She always comes here, and the non-smoker is always here. The only problem is, though, is that it's random. Kill them all. One of them is bound to be your guy. I mean, at this point, though, yeah, like, that's just kind of uh, what I have to do at this point, though. Normally, the handler reminds you, but um, he just didn't this time, because I didn't, I didn't, I didn't trigger the dialogue. Yeah, I do. I, I gotta do how to get intel on the inside. Okay, I'm just gonna... I think I'm just gonna leave him be for the time being. Just so I can, like, eliminate as many guys as I can. Uh... Hold on, you guys can still hear me, right? Because... Wait. Oh, shit. Um... Oh, fuck. Can you guys still hear me? Okay, I think my internet died briefly. Can you still hear me? Okay. Because I just noticed that, like, um... Like, my my chat, um, had to, like, reload, and, um... And, like, my stream preview here just died. Okay. Well, as long as... Okay, as long as you guys are still here. Great. That was odd. I don't know if I kill them, though, the thing that's going to create a mess than they're going to see. Yeah, that, was, that wasn't good. That just It just died on my my end. Whew. Well, that's the first time that's ever happened to me. Oh, yeah. I just remembered uh, uh, something else that I mentioned. Like, going back all the way, like, earlier about, like, AI and stuff like that. The funny thing is, is that um, I saw a gameplay, obviously, and someone had the, the race skill that made it so that, like, obviously, when you sprint... Um... Oh, shit. Damn it. Well, someone saw... They saw me. Well... Alicanova is retreating to the bunker. You must have alerted security seeker. Hurry! Well, so much for that. Whatever. We have enemy contact. So the skill, I, I know it's kind of weird to talk about it now, though, after uh, I just got spotted. But 
the skill that allows you to run without making any noise. I saw gameplay of that happening, and you know what the comments all said? Wow, the, the AI is so dumb they can't hear you. It's the fucking skill, dumbasses. Like, Jesus. Like, I don't know what else to tell you. But this is a, a secret entrance right here. One of my favorite bits of uh, this level right here. I was like so surprised when I discovered this. That was not Dr. Elikanova. You have raised the alarm. Get after the real target quickly. As if that matters. Who cares if it wasn't the real target? Now? The target is escaping. That was the real oh. doctor. Congratulations. I've marked the exfiltration locations to your map. Fucking explosion! Shit! Something blew up! This is kind. This is kind of amusing. It's true. Still, I've stealth this game enough. Oh shit! I didn't expect that to happen. What the fuck? Oh god, not again. Yeah. Oh, it actually reset back to here. Spoke too soon, yeah. Oh, well, whatever. Wait, can you hear me again? Because my stream my stream preview is lagging again. Um. Okay, yeah, it should be fine. I think. Now my stream, okay, okay, so you, as long as you guys can still hear me, because my stream preview is just not working very well. Oh, where, do, where do they go again? Hey, do I need to actually hit the cameras again? I might have to. Ah, oh, okay, my stream preview died again. What's going on? Actually, a possibility, it could actually just be my laptop. It couldn't, maybe it's not my PC. Bother trying to kill her or not? Yeah, screw it. Let's just try. Could be her, could be not. Oh yeah, no, no. I gotta deal with the cameras first. Nearly forgot. Holy shit! Oh, 
Uh, she got spooked. I think she did see the body down there. Eh, whatever. Alikanova is retreating to the bunker. You must have alerted security seeker. Hurry. So my hunch was actually right. I should have just killed her outright, but whatever. Let's just... Oh. I'm pretty sure these... These, uh... Tur yeah, these... These turrets are... Wait, never mind. They actually are operational. Yeah, well, I, I just want to finish this because it's been streaming for three hours, so I'm just going to cheese the rest of this. such an underrated gadget flash grenades are fantastic they don't appear in c2 though for some reason god damn it man uh, okay whatever it's been like over three hours whatever i don't need to finish this i don't have, I have nothing to prove um so I guess I'm going to wrap up the stream. It's nearly 1 o'clock. Holy shit. Um, thank you all for watching. Um, I unexpectedly got a bit few more viewers than I expected for this uh, stream. I got two new followers. That's great. Um, yeah. Um, I guess I'll just be uh, heading off now. You all take care. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the uh, this gameplay. Like a really the casual, sloppy gameplay of this game. Despite all the bugs that I've been experiencing with this one, again, for some reason, I just don't know why it's been... They've been rearing their ugly heads during the stream. Um, I, I don't know. I, I really uh, I really do enjoy this game, and I would recommend it if you could handle just a bit of jag here and there. But, um, yeah. Um, cheers, everyone. Uh, you all take care.